Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is the wrap up. I'm Mike Sorgat, Sorgatron on the Twitter here in the Sorgatron Studios in Sorgatron Media Studios. It's all weird. Thank you. And there's a cord in the way of the camera, I realized. Uh, thank you, Troy Lords, for giving me a new name for the studio uh, this past weekend. But we are here. It is after Raw. It is your, your, your therapy session of sorts. And with us on the Mayhem wrap up is the crew. First of all, uh, from Beacon, New York is Mad Mike. And he's got some new backgrounds going on over there, too. If we didn't lose him, he's paused for some reason. Maybe he'll come back. I think the computer is like <laughs> loading something. There he is. There he is. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. You, you were doing my intro and it completely cut off. Yeah, it did. It did. Nice timing. It, it's, it's almost like that awkward Alexa Bliss segment. Oh, yeah, so where we stuffed way too many things in and then the just hurry to the next segment. The one with uh, heavy machinery or the other one? That, that's no, all, there, no, there were two of them. There, there, were, there were two, two of them. them. There were two of something. And Larry is with us Hi. as well. Hi. Here from here in the studio. Yes, I am here in the studio. <laughs> and he watched the show. I, I watched parts of the you, show. You watched it? No, you were here for the majority of it. Yes, but I watched And yes, Stutters is here as well, but she is not on camera. She uh, has opinions she didn't want to share yes. of the show. Hi, Stutters. And producer Missy's in the house as well. So, anyways, like I said, this is uh, we're kind of moving to the the therapy, the raw post raw therapy session. So I wanted to go around, and I don't know if you guys have watched a lot of wrestling over the weekend, uh, like I did. Uh, but uh, you know, other than tonight, and it could include actually, it could c- include tonight on Raw. What is something uh, awesome in wrestling that you saw or experienced or heard of lately? Hmm. Mad Mike. I know you're just. I actually, I actually didn't watch any wrestling this weekend. Okay, anything from I, last week? I, SmackDown. I, well, uh, no, I mean, I can, I can pick something from Raw. Yeah, that's fine. Not, that is fine. Or not. Um, I think I, that's I, when, that's when we've come around is when we start picking things from, from Raw. Yeah. Um, the women's tag titles look really cool. They do look cool. I'm, I'm excited that it seems to be split across both brands. Okay. Is which it? I think, which I think is the smart choice. Did they really explain it? As they, such? Yeah, they said they said uh, there's going to be an elimination chamber match. Three Ooh. teams from Raw, three teams from SmackDown. Okay, all right. Wait, wait. Yeah, and that's fucking great because that gives the Iconics a fighting chance. Mm-hmm. So the show, so the only one show gets women's tag champs. No, it's spread across WWE. It's three At teams least, from Raw. Three I would, teams from SmackDown. I would wonder if so that first championship is going to be both brands, but I wonder after one wins it. They're gonna come out. Will with they? The no, yeah. I I very severely doubt because they don't have a deep enough roster on either show to Why do that. Why would they do that for both shows? No, they don't. What? Sorg, Sorg, if you look at the numbers, they physically wait, don't. Wait, 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 wait. But, but, but we have plenty of girls in other. Yeah, they're, yeah, but they need those girls on other shows too. True. But there's so you're many. Not gonna, you're not gonna call other. Up, there's call so up many people. other women's wrestlers Sorg, out Sorg, there that. Sorg. Sorg, it's better this way. It's better this why, way. But then why, it's, why don't they do that with all the other belts? Because we don't need Raw women's tag titles and SmackDown women's tag titles and NXT women's tag titles. Mm-hmm. Just let the t- there sh- there honestly shouldn't be men's tag titles on either on both brands. Mm-hmm. It should just be split over the whole company. Mm-hmm. Like right. individual singles titles, I think is fine, but we don't need more belts. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Larry, Larry, is there anything uh, wrestling that, that from this past week? No, that, that is on your high list. No, not all, not at all. You have a, wait, wait. Katie's got oh. something. Oh. Katie's got something. Yes. Wait, wait. Hi, hi. Did you guys see the movie? Uh, it's, I think it's called Glass. Glass. Yes, Glass. I'm. I'm looking forward to seeing Glass. <laughs> Glass it looks like a wonderful. I don't movie. understand this movie. I didn't Glass know Shawn Michaels was in it. That's weird. Hmm. Hey, you know what? I heard he was good in Marine Six. He's got to be good in Glass. We had to find the one, the one thing that involved gra- glass breaking that wasn't Steve Austin for this th- this prom- promo. There are many things that involve glass breaking that's not Steve. What Austin. else? What else? Name other glass breaking moments. 
the Geratron 5000. Ah, yes. That's, okay, okay. Um, that's true. Uh, the Festival, Chris Jericho, Festival of Chris Friendship. Jericho, Chris Jericho and Shawn Michaels. Braun Strowman and a limo. Braun, Str- Braun Strowman and any vehicle. Um, yeah. Any yes. vehicle on any episode. Steve Austin in any vehicle. <laughs> Brock Lesnar in any vehicle. The Big Show in any vehicle. Oh, uh, yep. uh, just random. Um, the, we got a comment from the chat room that Alex Miller out there is buying a house. Um, I, I he's buying a house bus. He's, he's buying, buying a, a house, house bus. bus. A house yeah. bus. Oh, can they? What does that mean? It's a house, but it's a bus. It sounds I don't like know. a mobile so podcast studio living to in me. The bus? Yeah, that's what it sounds like. Mobile podcast studio. Make, burr, it, burr, happen. Burr. Make it happen. Anyways, um. So my 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 kind of awesome thing for the week for this wait that's a different thing. Um, I'm that's still working on this new story. format, okay, guys. Lord, let's just go with what we know. Go with what we know. What we'll we just know? talk about raw. I had an awesome thing, sir. Okay. What's your awesome thing. Friday sir? night, I was filming. Um, I, I I got to tag along and film a match for some friends, uh, Lady Frost and Victor Benjamin up in Youngstown, Ohio. Well, I guess Campbell, Ohio, officially. And uh, Mick Foley was there. Always good, as I as I have I have referred to him as uh, wrestling's dad, because he's the most like disarming person you'll ever meet in in wrestling. That is like you know a hall of famer, right? Um, and uh, he was involved in I guess two nights they did something, but the one I saw um, there's a video up on IndieWrestling.us. Um, um, Lady Frost froze him yes. in the match mm. and saved uh, Victor Benjamin from receiving a sock. He got the sock the next day apparently. So it was a it was a pretty cool moment uh, to to be there in person for and, and watching watching the ring crew carry off a frozen Mick Foley the ring crew no that was a wrestler a big guy oh maybe and I did anyways s- they picked him up off the ring frozen and he sold it the whole way that's right ramp. that's right he is the consummate yeah. consummate professional uh, so he was stone cold Mick Foley he, he was, was he was ice cold Mick Foley ice cold Mick Foley there you go. Wow. Um, yeah, and he retweeted it uh, this weekend and everything. Uh, Real Lady Frost on Twitter. She has a lot of images and video and gifts and stuff from that as well. Um, and, of course, the video is over the Indie Wrestling.us Facebook and YouTube page if you want to go watch that. And that was with uh, World Big Time Wrestling. Um, uh, th- sh- shout out to those guys for uh, being cool and letting me help get out there with the camera uh, during their match and everything and hang out for the night. Uh, so they're doing something cool, and hopefully they do some more matches up there around the Youngstown area because it's right across the border from my old hometown. I have a lot of friends back home that are wrestling fans that don't really get to travel out too much, so hopefully that will be a good opportunity for them there. <laughs> so uh, Brandon is, is calling out, the, is a- AEW making WWE change their plans from here on out? I don't, no. I don't, think, that's, I don't no. think they're doing anything different except for that change where Jericho is just, just – Jericho's just not a part of the WWE anymore. No, <laughs> so. that's not, I, that wasn't even in the cards. I guarantee it. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. I, I don't think no, that's anything this to do is, with it. This is, they, these changes are because Raw and SmackDown had like their lowest ratings ever for almost a solid month. And this is the, this is the first night in a month and a half that it wasn't a holiday or a big sporting event mm-hmm. on at the same time as Raw. Yeah, and it, 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 you know, it, it's the big gear up, right, for, for WrestleMania season in general. Um, and obviously things had to change up for whatever reason, whether whatever reason that Braun Strowman can't be involved with the Royal Rumble. Um, I think he's still injured. I'm thinking he's still injured, too, because that seemed yeah. like a pretty – by the way, hey, you need to heal up, buddy. In the meantime, can you go flip this limo yeah, for us? Yeah, there's no way he's injured. <laughs> oh, wait, you me? He couldn't flip wait, a limo if he was injured. Larry, Larry, I, I – you. I, it's a work. You're a work. It's a work, brother. I am a work. He, he, he's not <laughs> wrong. He's not wrong. Um, but anyways, <laughs> I, I didn't. All right. Um, so I think, I think one thing we should do tonight is we should rate and rank the new talents on Raw and how they were utilized. <laughs> Their debuts of the nights, you mean? Yep. How well, are we? I, uh, wait, well, wait, 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 wait. How are you scoring this? Are we doing the the five star Meltzer system? No, no. Or? Just like they, they debuted five of them. Okay. Yeah. So who's so in slot one? Five. Oh, five stars Otis. is the best. Yeah. One Otis star. is number one. Otis is number Otis one. Otis is obviously number no, one. Oh, oh yeah. On. Five stars is the best. One star is the worst. Otis is five stars. Otis is five stars. Yes. Otis all the way. One star. Otis, oh, you nope. stop that right no. now. Otis you never star. appreciated heavy machinery um, and Otis. Excuse me. 
excuse me, I love wrestling Chris Farley. Thank you very much. I don't want him to be a snarling, drooling guy after Alexa Bliss when we just had a segment with her in her changing room without her top on. Or, Wait, he or, wasn't going after Alexa Bliss. Larry, what did you say that Otis was? That's what it looked like to me. He was like a big, beefy Cornholio. That's not what you said. What did I say earlier? You said son of Heyman. No, I didn't say that. Dutter said that. Oh, you said that? Son of Heyman. Oh, that was her. Okay. Yeah, Paul Heyman's son came out. I'm sorry, I confused yeah, the two of you. Bring your kids to work night. <laughs> bring your him, him and Heyman, uh, uh, Lashley, and, Lashley Leo. and Leo. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> Rhino, Rhino Taker, Taker yeah. Finn, Finn and Cena. Rhino Taker <laughs> is Dutter's name for Drew. I almost called him Drew Carey. And there was also Father Sunday on uh, UK Takeover with Finn and Devlin. Yeah. Oh, really? Oh yeah, that, that yeah, that's right. That's he d- he did come out for that. I'm sorry, I'm still back at mid November on NXT UK. And it's okay. I actually I'm working on it. Any of it. I think Otis was drooling at the belts more than Alexa Bliss. No, uh, I don't. I don't, I don't know think about so. That. I don't think so. That's why it was all very unnerving to me. Uh, yeah, yeah. It was all very unnerving, okay. and well, I didn't like it at all. No. No, like we. I was not. A, I guys, was not a fan it's 2019, of it. and we were three red-blooded American men who are turned off by the idea of the topless woman on our wrestling program. It, it just, she didn't even bring out the fucking coffee. No, like if you're gonna do that, you pay off the joke, right? You at least pay off the joke and have like Otis come out and specifically either look at Heyman. Like mm-hmm. he wants a manager, or you look at the titles thinking he can have them, and he accidentally spills the coffee and ruins the segment. That's what you do. That's how you write that. But no, he just stared at Alexa like dudes on Twitter, and it was very <laughs> awkward. It was very weird. No, uh, no, you don't no, have like, to mute your laughing. We want them to hear you're laughing. <laughs> like, seriously? I that completely ruined heavy machinery for me. Yeah. They cannot be taken seriously at all. No. Like that that's a that's a record. I couldn't take them seriously. That's a record before, for them ruining a tag team. But Yeah, at least they were competitors though. Were were they, were they? Yeah, well, they just had a title match. Oh. They, yeah, they, they just were, had a title match. I thought they were just funny. Well, yeah, but they they did good. They had good matches. Um, you know, and they were they were competitive, I thought for the most part. Well, so, yeah. so did Rhino and Slater. Mm. And yeah. Ryan and Slater were the first SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Yeah. This is true. So they can this still be true. competitive. This is true. All right. So so other than that, so um, I, the second slot, I think, obviously goes to Nikki Cross. Yeah. 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 She was really well, Actually, no. One. Nikki Cross, for me, was the best used. Yes. Well, yeah. two out of three of us yeah. agree. Uh, <laughs> but no, Nikki Cross, no, Nikki Cross was good. And, and, and there was a lot of fun stuff there. It kind of showed you how different she's going to be. And I really want since Sasha's gonna be a little busy. Um, I'm really okay with a Bailey and Nikki Cross tag team here. Crazy hug. Uh, no, I want Nikki Cross to win the Rumble. Nikki Cross wins the Rumble. Yep. Okay. I want Nikki and Oscar on SmackDown. You're picking your shots. That that's that's because I feel like we can get to whatever Ronda's gonna be doing independently. Mm-hmm. Unless, and this was something I thought up when I had a fever dream a couple nights ago when I couldn't sleep. Um, what if Becky costs Ronda the belt and Bailey wins the Rumble? The uh, best friends implode I at can, WrestleMania. Yep. I can't. I can't see them giving up a headline liner like Ronda Rousey. But um, but Ronda and Becky can still be the headliner. It doesn't need the title at this point. Uh, what is more interesting? No, 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 but, Ron, if Ronda costs Becky the title and then Becky in turn costs Ronda the title, you have that feud and you don't need gold attached to it. He is not mm. wrong, and we are in a world where there could be three major women's matches at WrestleMania. Yeah, especially if you also throw in that Becky costs Ronda her undefeated streak. Mm-hmm. This is like right there. That that makes all the sense in the world to me. It probably won't happen because again, I'm doing that writing thing. 
But man, I wish you could like write somebody a letter or something. Send them. I baby. you know if only. Yeah, if only. Jeez. If only. Man. If only I had those personal specific email accounts, which I definitely do not. Nope. But anyways, um, also from tonight, uh, we got a glancing blow of a glancing look of uh, at EC3. I didn't yeah. see that. Which you, maybe you didn't see if you blinked. Yeah, I didn't even see it. Yeah. Didn't even see it. Nope. I had to rewind. I saw Twitter mention it. I'm like, wait, EC3 was on my television. Well, it was that point where we're doing like it's it's like me when I'm trying to work at my desk where I'm doing three things at a time, except it was just all watching Raw. Yeah, that was the fastest well, no, character it, it assassination was, on Raw. It was an interstitial not of true. jobbers and EC3, which is not like yeah. he was the second worst for me. Mm-hmm. Second worst utilized, like really. Well, they did that with at- Lacey Evans too, right? She was standing. Yeah, there but back. Yeah, but Lacey Evans, at least someone acknowledged Lacey Evans, and Lacey Evans can we, established... Can she was we a, talk about the fact that Lacey talked, Evans yeah. was apparently talking to a farmhand? That was Mickey James. That Oh, oh fuck. Never mind. It comes together. All Never right. mind. Uh, okay. I, I, thought, I thought it was just a cowboy wearing overalls. It's just everybody dresses how they want to dress. It's, okay. it's just fun. Hardcore country. This is, yep, there you go. So <laughs> she can dress whatever she wants. She, she survived being thrown in front of a train. Yes, yeah, she did. Yes, she did. A train? A train. Yeah, a train. You don't know about this? This seems seems like a Vince Russo thing. It was... Uh, it was close. It was Impact. Yeah, it was Impact. It was not Russo era. There's... James Storm threw Mickey James legitimately in front of a train. And? She survived. Well, clearly. She... Yeah. Did she... It's hardcore country. Yeah, okay. It is hardcore country. Um... Yeah, and Jack Rollins says he doesn't see Ronda losing a match before Mania. I don't either. I'm just saying that'd be cool. <laughs> It'd be a nice spot. Um, yeah. But we did have a Lucha House Party revival. Obviously, I think this leads to a no ropes match between the two. No, I don't think it leads to anything. <laughs> Maybe the Royal Rumble pre-show. Maybe another match where where we have you know another movie promoted all over it. Um, oh my! God. Oh, a, gl- a glass ceiling match. I want there to be a crossover between Glass and Temptation Island, where we just send. James McAvoy to a high, to an island with horny singles, and they try to flirt with each one of his personalities, and then the beast eventually just kills them. That was that that was very similar to what we were talking about earlier. Only except we were, more except more colorful. Yeah, we we were just saying J- James McAvoy was going to go there with his just like personality that he was just some homewrecker. <laughs> like well, no, he's one of the homewreckers too, but there's no other contestants. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, boy. I, Larry, you, you mentioned something offhand here, but I think we need to <laughs> – this is the missed opportunity. They should have had um, uh, uh, Finn Balor and, and – uh, and, uh, oh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Jinder? Jinder, thank you. They should have had them, him and, uh, them in a uh, glass ceiling match. Yeah. What was that for? Because I could have was... swore that match was for Finn's oh, spot in the Royal Rumble. No, it, it, in the it, Royal it, Rumble it, contenders match. It's the push that Finn like like okay we're so actually is he not in the Royal Rumble anymore. Uh, no, Finn is in the Royal Rumble Championship match. No, the Finn and Jinder match was a qualifying match for the Fatal Four Way on Raw. Yes, because Jinder said he should have been in that match, mm-hmm. and Jinder picked Finn to go against because he presumed Finn is the weakest because. Gender doesn't watch Raw. Matt is saying Matt is saying um, that he liked it. They treated it as something unexpected and tried to create some uh, news like response to it. So and he went over on Cena and his hairdo. Well, yeah, he kind of had to. Yeah, because he's beaten Baron Corbin more times than God can count, and you can't pin Drew McIntyre, so he had to pin Cena. No, you got you got to keep uh, you got to keep Drew strong, guys. The only thing I thought that would happen that didn't, and I'm very surprised it didn't, I thought Laura Sullivan was going to be the last debut and take Cena out of the match. He is the only one we haven't seen yet. He's too little. He won't be on Raw. He's too little? He's too little for Raw. No, but it doesn't matter. Like, these these guys don't have a brand yet. Too much beef. Yeah, they do. No, they don't. They're not all on Raw? 
No, you were not listening to commentary, Larry. Of course I wasn't listening no, we to weren't really, commentary. No, we weren't listening to commentary. Are you kidding me? I was, I was reading a book. Look, he was reading a book. What do you read? What are you reading for audio over there? Well, let me explain. What, wait, 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 wait. What is let, this let me, thing? Let me drop some science on your Hold on, Larry. What is this thing with words that you hold in your hands? Something to entertain me while I'm watching Raw. Yeah, no, no. What was it? Oh, the book. It's called, it's called Leviathan. It's called Leviathan. It's a, it's a alternative history uh, World War of uh, Batista. Book. Steampunk. Steampunk World War One. Ooh. It's so it kind of. Sound, it sounds like a vehicle for Batista. It, it does sound like a uh, Leviathan was Batista's former gimmick. Back sure. In the why day. not? Okay. <laughs> but um, so basically, everyone who debuted tonight on Raw, none of them have brands yet. But they um they said that until certain brands claim these superstars, which they never said how that was going to happen, they're apparently all free agents and they can show up on whatever show they want. Oh, we can have EC3 tomorrow night completely punk out like Samoa Joe or something. I don't know. I I'm sad we didn't get a uh, Rockstar Spud reunion. I was very upset about Man, that. Man, or or EC3 becomes a manager on 205 Live for somebody. I I just want EC3 to become like Spud's assistant on 205. Yes. Yeah. He's going to be the coffee getter. Yeah, and and EC3 is going to wear a sh- a suit with all Spud heads on it. Man, the only thing that can complete this reunion is if Maxine comes back. I don't think that's going to happen uh no. sort of she died. She, t- she did die. She actually died. I, I, uh, really? on Lucha Underground. Spoiler, so she, spoiler so alert. She, she so died. She, did. she died. But so she, she was also she undead. She got thrown off a building. So she got thrown off a building. But then they brought somebody else back to life with her thing. So, with her thing. With her thing. With her rock thing. I or like something. a transplant. It was no, no like, well, like more like a spiritual. It actually turned a little bit more into pet cemetery. Yeah, it did. Oh, it there did. you go. Watch Lucha Underground. Yeah, that's what you should be doing with your time. Yes. In fact, by the way, and I'm going to buy this for myself. Lucha Underground seasons one through three is available on DVD. I, I saw that. Mm. I saw that. I'm gonna buy it because I have to. <laughs> To complete yeah. the merchandise collection, I, sir. I have to. <laughs> so we also have a new Intercontinental Champion, guys. Huzzah. <laughs> huzzah. I say huzzah. Yeah? Really? Uh, yes. I was hoping for this. Really? Just to yes, get it away from Dean and Dean? So fucking tired of Seth and Dean. Okay. Well, that doesn't mean just, they're not done. Well, can, I know, but it means I don't have to pay attention because there's no words in front of their names anymore. Could Leo have at least taken Dean's coat? Ooh. <laughs> if, if I'm, just, that was I'm just sick of Bane Dean. He's so Bane sweaty. Ambrose. And he's wearing that like, leather jacket it's, with the thing. And, uh, his gimmick's dumb. I like it. It's dumb. I like it. It is dumb. I'm telling no, you. No, it's very dumb. It's I love dumb. the weirdness. No, I love the stupid. weirdness. It's not weird. It's, it's not stupid. weird. It's lazy. Is it? It is. It's more yeah, it's very it lazy. I still think it's the more interesting Dean's been in the last three years. No, because no. if you watch his one-on-one matches, he just wrestles like Randy Orton again. Well, I like his promos. No, those are awful. No, his promos are dog shit. What was the best Dean? Um, An injured Dean. Oh, yes. oh, oh, whoa. Correct. Whoa. Correct. Oh. No, Dean as part of the Shield. The only the only member of the shield that in in my mind works as a solo act is Seth Rollins. Mm-hmm. Okay. Because Dean was the setup, Rollins was the workhorse, Roman was the punctuation mark. Okay. Okay. It's that's why like factions there's no like you never have a faction that's full of three single guys that are automatically great at everything. That's why they're in a faction to begin with. Evolution. They, but they were all singles guys before. Uh, yeah, and, 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 and really Batista and, and Randy were the ones that were the yeah. up-and-comers on this That's one. True. Yeah, yeah, like Evolution yeah. wasn't designed to push Ric Flair to a world title run. No, it no, should no. have, though. <laughs> and Triple H already had a belt, I think. So. Yeah, Triple H literally already had the title. He so did. He just needed buddies. You got yeah, that was just, but like legacy. 
I, I, I was taking a sabbatical during that. Yeah, mm. so were they. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, anything else from Raw of note tonight or the, the, this weekend in wrestling or anything like that? You guys want to uh, bring Wal- up? Walter. Walter. I heard Walter came. Walter. So tell me about so I keep everybody keeps telling me about Walter. I, I don't know much about Walter. I just hear every, I, I want to see him fight Pete Dunn. Yeah, it, it's one <laughs> of those things it's one of those things I haven't seen a single match, I haven't seen anything. I saw a gif of him walking out at, at the at the show on, on fr- Saturday, but it's just like He's you the hear monster of NXT UK. These right? whispers through the internet of Walter, and it's always in all caps. And then and then I see mm-hmm. Walter and, and he's in WWE, so now well, I'm excited. I think his name is spelled in all caps. Is it? Well, okay. no, it I, no, it really is. Okay. That's, I'm not. No, it really, it really is. Alex, Alex Miller is saying, "Watch Walter do his chops." I need to and build to it. Says, can I, can I build to it? Dean needs a new theme song. I want to build to it because. Oh, sorry about that. He says uh, Dean needs a new theme song, which he desperately does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those theme songs seemed really generic when they all came out he, and split off. He just needs a neat uh, repackaging altogether. Dean Ambrose. Yeah. He'd be Dean Ambrose to go back to NXT. He'd be better off as Fang McFrost. What? Wasn't that one of Steve Austin's original oh, name? Yeah, when they and when they Dean listen. also needs to be not on the same show as his wife. Mm, yeah, because it gets awkward. Um, no, it, I, it, it completely detracts from anything he's doing in the ring. Mm-hmm. Every single time. Like, I know someone hey, probably thinks it's hilarious, but it just detracts from the, they're gonna, anything. Like, they're going to turn Renee into a heel manager. No, they're not going to because she she can't do that. You don't know that. Mm. You never know. You never thought Michael Cole could be a character. Yeah. And he wasn't. Sure he was. He had you a WrestleMania remember? match. No, no, he was a character. He was a bad one. I didn't, I didn't say, say he was I good. Didn't, I didn't say she was going to be a good heel manager. All Listen, right, I guess, we, I guess we, there fair. were two, like, what the fuck are we doing things when, when certain, when your play-by-play goes heel. Michael Cole and Josh Matthews. Neither Would probably should have happened. Neither should have happened. No. No, in any no, case. No, there's no probably no. there. Neither of those should have happened. You can't happened. have your play-by-play do that. It Mike, just, it we, just ha- we just had our first semi-good build-up to a pay-per-view in a year and a half. We're due for a fuck-up. What? I'm talking about Finn Balor winning this match was probably like the single oh, yeah, best, no, I mean, if you single think, best if book you think thing Ballard's in the last at, year. We're due for them the to screw way, something else up. The only way Balor is winning at the Rumble is if he brings out the Demon. No, he's not. He's not going to do that. I'm sorry. Katie's doing her um, Vince McMahon impression. And I don't have a camera I can throw over there. I just... You have to swing the arms more. There you go. There. I got a monitor in the way. Oh, there's a monitor. Uh, this, this is for you guys on video. I, I can hear the stomping. The stomping sounds accurate. There you go. Back to later. And there. There. There you go. All right. That's for sorry, audio listeners. <laughs> we'll make a gif of that or something later. Um, all right. On that note, anything else we want to touch on there, sir? Oh, I just saw it. Yeah, that's very accurate. <laughs> that's very accurate. accurate. There you go. It's very, very accurate. Um did you guys hear the movie Glasses coming out? <laughs> I hadn't heard Son that. Of a bitch! Is it going to revolutionize how we look at superheroes? I don't think you're going to look at a pane of glass ever again. <laughs> um, I, I do want to talk about um, Sasha Banks. Yes. And that awesome promo she cut. Yes. You can tell Sasha's been holding that in since last year's Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I didn't see it. Uh huh. There's a little bit. There's a little bit of pipe bombing tonight between that and Finn. Um, what was she? Oh, that that wasn't more. Of a, oh, yeah. Hey, 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 fill in, uh, Mike. Can you fill in, Larry? Because he that he didn't miss that part in Hooch. transition. No, it's, it's basically Sasha saying like, "I don't want to be your friend. I'm not scared of you. You act. You've gotten your way here the whole time. But don't forget who is the boss of this division. You called me out. I didn't call you out. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like it, it was really, really good. And like, th- this is. I know this is. I'm just. I'm guessing. I don't know her personally. I'm guessing this has been brewing since that first like awkward eye roll when Stephanie introduced Ronda after she won the women's title. <laughs> Seeds are like, planted. Like, if you if you watch back that segment after SummerSlam, 
when Stephanie introduces Rhonda, mm -hmm. the camera, like, w it pans through, like, Bailey and Sasha and all them. Bailey's smiling and happy, and Sasha just got this look like, this bitch. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, I do wonder, because, uh, you know, again, going back to the, like, little seeds that were planted uh, for Hogan and Macho Man over, like, a year of, of tapings. Like, Lust in the eyes. What's Lust that? In the eyes. Lust in the eyes. Lust sword. in the eyes. Nice. Mm. Uh, yeah. But you know, is it is that happening on any level with WWE these days? You know, no. I, I mean, it no. doesn't. I know it doesn't seem like it. The perception well, is no. NXT. Oh yeah, definitely with NXT. NXT I, yeah, I, sure. I would counter that it's easier to do with NXT again, with the recording t live every week, three hours versus an hour every week, right? No, and, also but, they write, they yeah. write storylines and they get input from the talent. I think that, that's the difference. Let's just agree that's a different environment and where that is. Where well, that yeah, happens. Because, because someone's not there screaming in everyone's ear. Because it happens once a month. So you can think about the storylines for three weeks and then do it. Sorg, I, do you know how many storylines we've all thought of for Raw and SmackDown? Mm -hmm. And we think about them over a month long period. I'm just saying it's a different process live weekly and reacting to things like ratings and people going in and out. Larry, yeah, Larry, 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 Larry's just... giving me a look. Larry's giving me a look here. I don't think you're going to win this one. Sorry. No, <laughs> no, but, but that doesn't explain like, like, oh, then why have Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa been able to build an intricate woven storyline over a year and a half? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Because they're allowed oh, that, to. That's that's not something done taping to taping. Like that's that's actual forethought. WWE doesn't like main roster doesn't even put in two thought. <laughs> A thought. Oh, I'll continue to counter you on that one. But anyways, anything else? Uh let's see. I think about does it. Other than um, I did like uh, uh Mac Harlan's pointing out that look uh, look. Uh, um, Elias, oh. his current name, uh, is the omnipotent storyteller. <laughs> I didn't even know it was Elias this week. What's that? What, where was Elias? I must have missed him. Oh, no, he was in the hallway, and he, in song, uh, told Braun where poor Baron Corbin was hiding. Oh, God, so we turned him into a minstrel? He's a minstrel. It he's like oh, that, he's Al that Alice in Wonderland found he's in the woods. Fucked. There goes any kind of push for Elias. No, no, no. This is no, his push. That, there goes this any is kind his of push. push Elias. Elias is doing amazing. And no he more. has a custom Elias Memphis T-shirt. Yep. Elias is doing just fine. It said, so. it said Memphis walks with Elias. That's right. That's right. I'm yeah, betting he there's needs a, a title. Pittsburgh one. I bet if they come to, when they city. come to Pittsburgh, I better be getting a Pittsburgh walks with Elias. He, he, he needs the title. Hopefully he can take no. the IC title. Then yes, he does. Well, I don't know. Hey, maybe Bobby Lashley is the IC champion, I guess. Yes. He can, take it off. he can take it off Lashley. Royal Rumble. Royal Rumble. We'll see what happens. Oh, hey, guys, no, we're going to talk about oh, this. They're all going to be in the Rumble match. We're going to talk about so much more tomorrow night. We're going to have Joe Dombrowski. Uh, he is an announcer with uh, uh, Ring of Honor's Future of Honor, and I believe the Women of Honor as well from time to time. Uh, he'll be here on the show. Uh, Waterweight Wrestling, Premier Championship Wrestling. I don't know. He's involved in a whole kinds of stuff. Um, just announced the new Prospect Pro Wrestling that launched last week on or last month on the uh, Indie Wrestling Network. Uh, but he'll be on here. Last time he told all he told all you guys in the wrestling world how to social media. We'll see what he's got this month. I know he's recently been hacked, so um, he's making. So if you got a friend request from a new Joe Dombrowski, it might be him. Uh, was it Facebook. Solomon Crow? Was it Solomon Crow? No. Hey, um, <laughs> I don't think. Act the planet. I, you know what? I yeah, no, that's for off air. Um, anyways, uh. <laughs> Mad Mike four eighty three on the tweets. I tweet about things and stuff, and 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 the the cool cat room is coming together a little bit. It's okay. not fully done. No, 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 no way, out poster's pretty cool. What year is that? Uh, that is. Is that a WrestleMania twenty three uh, logo in there? Yeah, that gives yeah, you so know twenty three. Do your math. Yeah. <laughs> so it's about it's about twelve years ago. Yep. About twelve years ago. Yes. Larry. Yep. Where can people find the things that you do? Darkforgestudios.co. Darkforgestudios.co.
Do you want to plug something? Dutters, okay. Dut- Dutters says you can find her at dot com. Dot, That's dot five C- P's, C-O. two H's. That's right. You you can reach her at Dutters at AOL dot com. <laughs> <laughs> you can you can reach her at Dutters on AIM at <laughs> D-U-D-D-E-R-Z. What was your AIM name? It was what? You will die. You will die. You will die. That's not a joke. No, that's what you it was. You can find her on AIM. She at had an emo phase. No, it was a Hello you, Kitty who phase. didn't? <laughs> Oh, well, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um. What do we do next show? Do we just talk about AIM? We just talk about AIM next show? Okay. We'll talk about CES from when AIM was popular. We should, we should talk about Smarter Child. Um, if you are a fan of Mayhem Mania, Mayhem Mania at Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. That's Mayhem Mania at Wrestling Mayhem Show dot com. Uh, email your so to I forget what you get out of it. Uh, you, you get, um, you every get, prediction you get right, you get an eliminator. You yep. get an eliminator for everything you get right. So for the men's and women's um, Royal Rumble, uh, give us your winner, the the wrestler that wins, the s- position that you think is going to win. If you think somebody's going to come in at like you know number twenty and they're going to win, whatever number you think is going to be the winner. So that's two chances: the person and its position. And then what was the third one? The, the uh, Iron Man. The, yeah, the Iron, Iron Man. Who's, who's going to be in the match the longest? Who's going to be in the match the longest of that match? So all three of those things for both Royal Rumbles, the men's and the women's. So one of each for each Royal Rumble at Mayhem Mania at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Lord, and when is the deadline for this? Is it it's the deadline the Rumble itself? No, it's tomorrow. Is it actually. tomorrow? I thought it was. Tomorrow. Oh, it's tomorrow. Well, the Rumble I, is. I, I thought like, it was. The Rumble's in like two weekends. So right, but he was I, but doing. I think it was he was doing week. a preview. He's gonna do a preview. Yeah, that's right. So oh, okay, all right, check I'll that get out. Mine into so with that, thank you everybody for joining us on the Facebook Live. This has been your wrap up, a WWE Raw therapy session, and thank you so much for you guys to you guys for joining us. We'll see you next time. Until then. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want, take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.